Okay, okay, so here we have Rogue against Truin. Um, I'm looking at my hand. Um, I think I'll keep everything because um, everything seems to control the board um, when every place Glowfly glow Swarm. So um, the waste one would be a perfect reply to a Glowfly Swarm. So um, I get Dragon Sword. I'm looking at the options. I'm thinking Draxus initially. But uh, that I think that's that's gonna be a bit too late on. By the time if I pick Draxus, by the time I get to play it, I may be dead on board already. So um, I choose the five drop. Um, hopefully, it gives me a useful legendary when I need one. So um, that's that. Um, this thing I'm just gonna hero power attack. Justice is mine. And he just passes his turn also. Now, um, looking at my hand, I could either play the the four drop or um, the water pick on turn four. But I get um, the Essex Swamp Boost, so I'm gonna play that because I know the jury doesn't have any weapons. So it's a more or less safe play. And um, I think I'll be able to play um, the four drop easily next turn. Depending on what he plays, so he just passes the sin also. Oh wait, let's see. Okay, this is a crystal power. That's good. That's one last card. Um, when he probably plays his, his mount seller. So I play the devoted miniac. I'd be really good if he gave me the evolve lucky because next turn if he doesn't attack it, I'll be able to evolve the um the crazy maniac. But there he goes to the glow the glowfly swarm, so the waste one is a perfect reply. So now I have the tempo on board. So I'm thinking Probably next turn, um, I could probably start preparing to bring down the Wackle, the Tog Wackle on turn 7, but it all depends on what he plays. And I'm also thinking, I'm also thinking to play the secret because if he attacks, then uh, those, um, the bamboos would evolve these things to um, quite well, 7 drops and 8 drops, respectively. But here he has a Glowfly Swarm again, so I have to try to control the board as best as possible to ensure that um, I, I just don't get destroyed from um, from double. Okay. Don't let the door double Savage you. Roll. And even if he builds the board also, so I could take care of all the traps easily with my hand. So it adds two of his Glowfly Swarm Squad, so um, now I think it's a small seller Druid from the cards he has, so um, now it's just for him to play Mount Seller and to deal with it when it comes down on board. Fortunately, fortunately I get the Witchy Lucky, so I get a good evolve into the 6th drop, so depending on, depending on what he plays next turn, I think I'll probably go the Tog Waggle. Uh, there's the Mount Seller. So he's gonna start building the board now with his iron box and stuff. His innovates. His moon, moon fires if he has any. So he's gonna proc the Bamboozle. And I actually get quite a fortunate um, forge up here. There he goes with the innovates. So this is quite unfortunate for him, and uh, with all that I have, I could actually control the board. Now I was thinking to play the face that's dropped, uh, um, which I could use to get a full clear, but um, I think the Tog Waggle is a better option to prepare for next turn. Um, so when I get the treasure, I could draw um, 3 cards with 0 cost. 
and the same I get still play the board so um talk about the list that really bad to play. So I'm hoping probably to get um a Gala Crown or even a Crown or even a use uh Alex Straza, Dragon Queen Alex Straza would be one but I guess we'll see if I get to play next in. So I just really need to get rid of the Mount Seller because that's like the most dangerous card. That's like the core card to this deck. So um, that seems that seems pretty good. So um, with the face less corrupt, I could continue to control the board next turn as well as draw cards from the wand. I think once once I draw Pippity One, I think it's gonna be fine. So there he goes, he's drawing. So his save and play, well I'm, I'm gonna take control of the board, well I already have control but I'm, I'm gonna take put a control of the board. At this point his only save and play is to bring down another Mount Seller and, and have a huge turn with that Mount Seller. He should also have Ysera unleashed. So, um, I mean, we'll see what that does if he brings it down. Let's see. But, um, yeah, so this turn, um, I play the wand. And let's see what I get. Okay, up with some Walker. Galakrond and the mm -hmm. Viserate. So, I'm, I'm definitely gonna bring down the Galakrond this turn and the Bugger. I'll see what I get. Okay, so I got an, an evil recruiter, so I could bring down the Galakrond, and I would still have enough mana to hero power, get a lucky, and Dark in the sky. I could bring, I could play lucky, and I could get a fire pile on board. So I get Zephyrus, and I get Sock. So um, the rate at which I'm building the board, I think um, I could probably have lethal in probably two to three turns if he doesn't have. Um, like explosive Mount Seller tins, so um, these efforts would come in pretty handy to ensure the lethal. So this turn, that's like a divide pile, really lucky. So this board is actually pretty um, threatening with um, Zephyrus because I, I could get uh, an, a bloodlust and I could destroy his face but he probably knows this so he's probably gonna try to control the board or probably have an explosive turn with some more solo let's see what if and so he's just gonna control the board he has a bulk beam but the fact that he plays the Bark Beam before he plays the Mount Seller means that he doesn't have the Mount Seller currently in hand. Alright, so he goes for an Overflow turn. But even with the Overflow turn, I still have control on board. I still have Tampo on board, so that's, that's pretty good for me. So now, now that he's on full health, I'm thinking probably I'm, I'm gonna seal the next turn. And okay, so I get Edwin. So um, initially I was thinking about the the Valtress, but uh, I think I could set up a two turn lethal if I could bring down a really good Edwin this turn. So um, I think I'm, I'm gonna go seal feed and probably see what a lucky gets me. And I could probably push damage with the Viscera this turn also. Or well, while bringing down the Edwin. So uh, that seems that seems like the best play. So once once I bring down Zephyrus and the following turn, it should present a lethal unless he has like a really explosive turn with a Mount Seller. Or 
Um, let's see, so here with the dragon sword, I have three op options. I was looking at the Nazari, but he's nowhere um, near um, threatening lethal, so that's a no go. Also, um, the um, the two drop, it's it's not it doesn't assist me with the prime, so I choose the six drop to get more tempo on board if need be. So I bring down the turn, the ten ten Adlin, and now I'm threatening lethal next turn with the Zephyrus in hand. So if he brings down anything to stop me from from hitting fees, I have this up. You know, if he plays a Funko Fortune, so um, oh, there's the there's a Ramish. And there's the iron bark. So I have a sub, but he realizes that he can't win. He, he, he just can't win, so I take the win. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and comment below on your thoughts on what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.